Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a hotel gym workout. So as you guys know, I am cabin crew, but I also am a personal trainer. I obviously have to travel a lot for my job and I'm away for quite long periods of time. And sometimes the gyms at our hotels are not the best. And this gym in particular, where we stay in Antigua, is not the biggest kind of gym. It hasn't got very much equipment. So I thought I would film a workout for you guys to show you what you guys can do with minimal equipment. So if you guys are going on holiday or you also maybe are working out from home or you, I don't know, staying at a spa for a weekend or something and you've got a gym that's really, really basic, then you guys can follow this workout. Or if you're also a cabin crew and you're watching this video, um, then obviously you might be similar to me and you're using gyms that aren't the best. So in this video, we're gonna be focusing on glutes and your hamstrings. So it took me about 45 minutes to do this workout and the only equipment you need are dumbbells and a bench. And I also did use a band, one of the thick fabric bands. If you guys wanna get one of those bands and get a discount on it, I've put the link in the description so make sure you guys go check that out. They are really good bands. They come in all different sizes and different strengths. So obviously the bigger, the wider the band is, the easier it is, the tighter the band, the harder it is because it's harder to pull your legs apart. So if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to click the subscribe button just below this video. And if you are subscribed already, thanks so much for supporting me I really appreciate any of you guys who do subscribe as you guys know it's quite hard to get support and stuff on YouTube so if you guys like it and you do like my content don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video or you've got any questions don't forget to click the like button below the video and drop any questions in the comments below any feedback or anything so first of all I started my workout by doing about a five minute incline walk on the treadmill. This is just to warm up your legs, get the blood pumping. Even if it's quite warm, like in this country, it was really, really hot, but just to get the blood flowing and get your muscles nice and warmed up, ready to work out. Then I did a bit of glute activation. I just literally did some glute bridges on a mat on the floor. I didn't film this, but it's just to make sure your uh, glutes are nice and activated, therefore you're gonna get a better workout. If you guys want to know more about glute activation and want some ideas for what you can do for glute activation exercises, I have done a whole video on that. So again, I'll pop that in the description box below if you've not seen it already. Once I'd all warmed up, my first exercise I did was a squat, um, sort of like a squat deadlift with a heavy dumbbell. So you're going down um, as low as you can, but you're keeping your back nice and straight and your core tight and then coming straight back up. I did 10 to 12 reps and I did three sets of that. After that exercise, the next one I did was single leg hip thrust. So all you need to do is put a dumbbell on your lap and make sure that your shoulder blades are just touching the bench and you've got one leg on the ground, about a 90 degree angle from your ankle kind of to your knee, so your foot is under your knee. And then driving up and pushing through your glute. Make sure your core is nice and tight. And I did 10 reps on each leg, so 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Then I rested and did three sets of that. And then the next exercise I did was RDLs. So this will be really good for your glutes and your hamstrings. You want a nice heavy dumbbell. This needs to be heavy or you won't feel it. And just keeping your legs as nearly as straight as you can. You want a slight bend in the knee, your back nice and straight, your core tight and going as far down as you can. And when you get to the bottom, really squeeze your glutes and then come back up. I did 12 to 15 reps and again, three sets. And 
And then the next exercise I did, I've actually accidentally deleted it. So um, my phone was full of storage and I've airdropped them to my laptop. I must have missed one of them and then I deleted them off my phone. So, um, cause I filmed all of these exercises on my phone. I didn't have my camera with me. So I am really sorry about that. But what I've done is I've filmed again, re-recorded this exercise. So the exercise is curtsy lunges and you wanna make sure you've got dumbbells in each hand and then you're just bringing the leg behind you. And I did 10 reps on each leg. So you wanna really squeeze the glute as you come up. And obviously on the 10th rep, you want it to be really difficult, so make sure you are using a heavy dumbbell. A 10 on each leg, rest, and then I did three sets of that exercise. And then the last exercise I did was banded glute bridges. So you want the really tight, thick band. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, discount code is in the description box and a link to buy these booty bands. They're so good, they really, really burn your bum. And you just want your shoulder blades on the bench and you're just driving up through your glutes, keeping your core nice and tight, your body sort of in a, basically a straight line at the top of the hip thrust. And you want to be doing 10 to 15 reps. I did 10 reps of these and then I actually did at the top, I then did 10 hip abductors, which is where you're pushing your legs apart. If you struggle to do that, obviously you can leave it at 10 reps, but for me, I just like the extra burn at the end. So I went up 10 times and then I just kept my legs high and just pushed the bands apart like that with my legs for 10 times. And I repeated that three times and that's a really good booty burner like for the end of the workout. You can also add um, some ab exercises on the end to this. If you're like in a hotel, you could add a little jog on the end, um, but this took me 45 minutes because obviously you are doing three sets and you've got to have a rest between each exercise. Some little tips, you want to make sure we're using heavy dumbbells because if you're not using weights that are heavy enough, you're just not gonna feel it. So you want heavy dumbbells so that on the last rep, you're really like struggling. And obviously these sort of exercises are quite good for hotel gyms because they don't always have the heaviest of weights, but because you're holding two normally or you're doing single leg exercises, you can sort of like halve what you would normally need to use for a weight, say if you're doing a squat. This guys gives you, gives you guys some inspiration and any of you guys who are traveling or going on holiday, you can save this workout. It's also quite good if you're quite new to exercise. This is quite an easy workout if you're doing it at home, say in your normal gym. It's not as like complicated. You just literally need dumbbells and a bench. So you could try that at home if you wanted to as well. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. The button is just below the video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or anything, just comment below. Also, all of my nutrition and personal training information is in the description blocks, my, box, my email and everything. I am nutrition coaching at the moment and I'm loving it. I love getting back into it. It's working really, really well around my job at the moment as well. So if any of you guys need any macros done, you want a meal plan or coaching, if you want a program or anything, a personalized program, just drop me an email and ask me what you want and we'll sort something out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.